It's your mom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakal Kadash. Yahweh is a true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is a true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside Him. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, who definitely rule well. An honor citation to the elect. <clears throat> Salaki. Um, I'm going to get into, you know, this uh, Gadite. You know, he makes a good point. All right. So I, I want to play it and, you know, expound upon it through the scriptures. You know, he actually makes two good points. I'm going to um, get into. Having tattoos. Uh known known by or known for i don't like to talk about it because it gives it power that's right man you know and that's the scriptures as well he's going to uh you don't like to talk about evil because when you speak upon you know evil it gives that you know that spirit power over into it to come and um begin to mess with you all right if you keep mentioning it you know, it, it pretty much gains the attraction of of uh, demons, man. Okay, and then they here they come messing with you and shit. But that's why, you know, we, we want to speak life. The scriptures speak upon that um, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So, you know, he's absolutely right, man. You know, and that's according to the scriptures. When you constantly speak on something... It, it consumes you. We see it all the time in the in this, and that's why the so-called white man, being such a uh, the devil that he is, and so uh, deeply rooted in hatred for our people, and deeply rooted in wickedness. Okay, they um pretty much overtook all hip hop. They overtook the whole rap game, and got their got their influence within it, and of course. It doesn't take away from um, the evilness of our people. You know, they're just as bad for wanting to uh, uh, push that damn uh, energy upon our people. That's why Isaiah 9 and 16 speaks about how the leaders of these people cause them to err. Because the leaders are you damn celebrities. You know, people look up. That's just what it is. People look up to you celebrities, you athletes. You know, they want your autographs. They want... They... they they spend five hundred dollars on a ticket to come see you, or however much it is. And by your, by the way you people carry yourselves, you're pushing wicked vibrations upon our people. You know, again, going back into that rap music, you're speaking upon nothing but being prideful, boasting about your clothes. The scriptures even say, "Boast not of thy clothes, boast not of thy raiment." You know, but you do that. I mean, there's so many strikes. Against you, <laughs> against you, damn demons in that rap game. There's so many strikes against you, man. You could literally sit down and come up with a with a nice long list, you know, which we're not gonna do. But I'm just saying, if you really wanted to go in on these cats, you'll have a long list by the time you're done really meditating on the wickedness that they promote. That's totally against the scriptures. And then when everybody looks up to them. And wants to be like them, you're causing them to go off. So you people got a lot of blood on your hands, man. But anyhow, you know, mentioning the rap game because that's all they speak about is uh death and evilness. And like this guy I just said, when you speak upon it too much, you give it power. And that's all you niggas do. You make a whole album about wickedness. So you give power. You give uh, um, power unto wickedness to consume your damn lives, man. All right. So that's just an example of um, speaking uh, death and giving power on, over unto it, speaking unto evil. And uh, I mentioned some things here earlier about the uh, creating the portals by having tattoos uh, and markings on your body and uh, piercing your body and so on. These are portals in that that you open up to the uh, not good influence if they are the remaining on your body. Sometimes you can 
in a ceremony, they do make sacred markings, but they wash them off after four days of the completion of the ceremony. But anti or atakash inzid, those were real. And uh, the thing that is something that we're supposed to be aware of is that uh, you cannot call evil things good. But it gets to the... But, uh, yeah, you know, so that's um, just an uh, interesting point I wanted to grab out. I never seen this guy, man. He came up on my um uh came up on my news feed, man. And the title caught my eye, so it's like the first lesson I listened to of him. But you know, that was a good point there about all these these uh tattoos. Okay. And how even the scriptures speak upon how you shouldn't well let me just get it. Um about how you shouldn't be get we shouldn't be getting these damn tattoos, man. The scriptures are against that. But um, you know, again, again, that's that's a that's like a thing within our people. Okay, a lot of our people get tattooed. When you look at the uh the NBA, which again, that's one of the heavy leaders, that's one of the heavy trend setting trend setters upon uh, um upon our people. And when you look at when you look at them, they all got tattoos, man. Okay, so you, again, the influence to uh, cause our people to continue to be wicked is being uh, pushed off, man. So Leviticus nineteen twenty eight. Well, let me start twenty seven. So you know the point is that every single law that the Lord has put. You know, in the scriptures, it is for our benefit and not following it is for our destruction. Just as something so simple as even tattoos. See, now you would have never <laughs> say, well, why can't you know, what's the big deal about that? How is that wicked? And now, look, it comes out that, you know, like the like the uh, like the guy I said, it has a, a wicked influence, man. It has a bad influence. It has a bad vibe to it when you when you get the tattoos. And then he, he even called it a portals. You know, pretty much for wickedness. Okay? And this is the scriptures to back him up. That's what's mo the most important thing is the scriptures. But even he knows that. It's Leviticus 19.27. It says, you shall not round the corners of your heads. And when you go and get your ass to shape up, Cause we all we all been there done that, <laughs> and that's the thing, man. I always hated barbershops, man. I hated waiting. You know, I just I just I just hated bar how crowded it was. You know, but anyway, man. When you're done getting your shape up, well, when you're about to get your shape up, he asks you, "What do you want? You want it square or you want it round?" <laughs> All right, so you know you can't get around that shit. That's talking about shape ups, man. It says you shall not round the corners of your head, and he'll ask you, you want it round or you want it square. And don't be simple, man, and say, well, I'm gonna get it square. All right, so this way, I'm not getting a, a round shape. I'll just get it square. Don't be simple, man. It's talking about shape ups, period. Okay, so again, you shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar. The corners of thy beard. See? Now, you, you know, you may think, which me personally, man, I don't think why, man. You know, let me just say that. I never said, well, why can't I? What's, hey, if, hey, if the Lord said it, that's what it is, man. I'm not questioning nothing from the Lord. All right? So, damn, I should have, you know, said that from the beginning. The reason I want to get into this is just showing how everything just makes sense, okay? All right. So this is Leviticus. All right. Um, I'll go to verse twenty-eight. Okay. So hey, we even with the shape outs, man. You know that gives you a, a a feminine type vibration, and it's fitting, man. How the next verse goes into says, "Ye shall not make 
any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So just as how these tattoos, you know, the Lord said not to get tattoos because, you know, now we see that it just pushes off wicked, a wicked influence. It attracts demons. It opens portals for demons, man, to come and mess with you. Same thing, you know, attracting a demon unto you. Right? Because of how just weird and off it looks. It's the same thing with, with getting shape ups, man. Back in that back in the ancient world, that's weird. But you come around with a with a damn shape up. Everybody will look at you like, yo, like what the hell? You know, you get rebuked. You imagine that? And men was more fit, like brothers always say, men was more of a man was more manly, was more manly Salakia yeah, back then than in today. You know, so yo, you'll really be got on. It just pushes off a wicked vibration, man. It has a wicked, wicked energy to it. Looks, looks feminine, and you know, or, or, or maybe um, the Lord knows that it will bring too much pride to you. So it's something to stop, to cut pride. Okay. Before it could even rise, it, it, it could cut pride, man. Because a lot of these niggas, when they get shape ups, they are uh, um, they think that they some hot shit. It comes with a spirit of pride, so you know that's another reason why the Lord could have said that, man. But all the um, all the law, statutes, and commandments is beautiful and beneficial unto us, man, to be better men. All right, so let me get um. Don't gotta make this too long. Let me end this off with Proverbs the uh, third chapter. It says, "My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart." keep my commandments so the commandments we can keep we absolutely do all right some um some commandments is just no excuse that you should be breaking it man all right you could avoid not getting tattoos you know the commandments we know then what we can keep we keep man and we keep we keep all the commandments to the best of our ability <laughs> you know, but guys, sinful men still find excuse excuse according to their will. You cannot eat crab, shrimp, lobsters, and pork, man. You can avoid that. That's not burning some, man. You know? And not all not even burdensome is not even the right word. That's not um dang. Can't even uh think of the right word, but you know, you could definitely avoid that, man. You don't have to do that. So it says, my son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. See, so not getting uh, uh, tattoos on you. That counts as well. That add lengths of days to you, long life and peace to you as well. Right. Every single law, statutes and commandment. All right. It, it, it adds length of days to us, long life and peace and breaking any one of them, okay, will bring forth uh, the exact opposite. So, you know, that's ultimately why we need how shy to come and save us, deliver us, you know, bless us with, with these new bodies, man, that's going to be perfect. Now, won't go off because, you know, we were meant to go off, man. All right, we're not perfect, but the thing is we got to we gotta strive, you know, for this truth unto death to please Yahweh Shemal Shai. So, Lord, one, this is edifying, I'm going to say Shalom.